Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I thought this morning, right now, this morning, just getting up, shower, dressed. I said, if you're anything like me, and you've been watching <laughs> media, news, social media, whatever the case may be, I thought this would be a good time for us to go into prayer together. Because I don't want you to worry. I don't want you to worry. I want you to pray. When you worry, I want you to pray. When you have fear, I want you to have faith. And know that God is in control over everything. A good God. A loving God. You know, a lot of times we don't understand what's going on because it's not for us to understand. At the same time, we have seen how words, voice, carries a lot of energy. Has a lot of power. So, I'm not going to get into the specifics right now because it's really about prayer. So, let us go together prayer. In the name of Jesus, God, I just want to thank you for bringing us together today. I want to thank you for having us here together today. We pray for the young woman who really felt in her heart that she was fighting for a cause. That she believed and followed. That she believed and followed. And she suffered the consequences. It was not needed. So in the name of Jesus, God, we pray for love. We pray for guidance. We pray for clarity. Of a loving God. Of a loving God. If we follow you in your word, all will be well. But the evil and the hatred and the anger and all of that needs to come out. So that we see what we need to see. We see who we need to see. So we'll know what we need to do and who we need to follow. But in the name of Jesus, God, when we don't have any of that, we follow the word of you. We follow your word, God. And we want to thank you so much. For giving it to us. We want to thank you so much for blessing us. If we're here today, God, we are going to pray for every person that's still sick. Every single family member that's lost someone. A loved one. Every spouse. Every partner that's lost their spouse and their partner. Every child that is growing up. We're living right now in poverty and hurting. And not understanding what's going on. We pray for all of the medical professionals and all of the... Uh, good people of the police authority and all of the good people who are politicians and all of the good people that are wonderful neighbors and in the community. We pray for everyone. We include every single person in this prayer, God, that you will come down and cover us with your love and your blessing, God, that you will come down and give us courage to stand up when we need to stand up, speak up when we need to speak up, stay down, hold down, stand still when we need to stand still, God. We just thank you so much for giving us that guidance when we pray and we ask for it and when two or more come and agree God that you declare it is so and we want to so we want to thank you for that God we want to thank you for your love and your and your forgiveness and your mercy of the things that we have done that's not so good we ask that you change the hearts of those who have hatred that you come into their hearts and you change their hearts. And you, we ask God that the ones who are not full of hatred, that they have the courage to stand and not be afraid. In the name of Jesus, God, we ask that you come down and heal the hearts, minds, body and spirits that have been broken. Oh, they've been broken for so long. And in the name of Jesus, God, we ask that you comfort them, that you heal them, God, that you hold them near and make everything okay. We ask that you help us create a better world, a better nation by being better people. Doesn't mean you have to Follow this or follow that. But it does mean that you have to 
Look at your ways and change them. Because all of this hatred and anger and pain and jealousy, intimidation, negative competition, all of that is found and exists and lives in every area of existence in our lives. Every area. And so in the name of Jesus, God, we ask that you come down as you are doing in washing it away. Washing the sins away. Washing everything that needs to be washed away. Washed away. In the name of Jesus, God, Let us claim victory with love, courage. And let us leave room for those who want to change. We thank you for finding joy in today. Things may not be what you want them to be. You may not be where you want to be. But I can tell you, by not being distracted by the negative and looking at the positive and keeping your eye on the prize, you will get there. You will get there. You have to stop passing around and breeding this hate. Self-pity on all sides. Instead of complaining about what you don't have, can you find something inside that you do have? That you've been blessed? Try that on this morning. Put that on this morning. Why are you putting on your shirt and your deodorant and your cologne and your perfume? Spray a little positivity over yourself and see what happens with that. I want you to know that we're going to get through this in the name of Jesus. I want you to know that we're going to come through this in the name of Jesus. I want you to know <laughs> ah, that everything will be all right. Everything's going to, one way or another. I promise everything's going to be okay. We just have to go through the storm before we find the rainbow. I pray for every person who needs prayer, prayer today. I'm praying for you. We're praying for you. I want you to believe. I want you to have faith. Believe. And have faith. That thy, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I cover you. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. I'm loving you. I'm hugging you. Oh, what I was going to say was, I think to myself, if these people were had been in a class, in an ACE classroom, Active Centralized Empowerment, and Teaching Without Borders, they would have learned at a very young age, and they would have learned at whatever age, how to get along and how to disagree and get along and live to see another day. How to understand that if you are trying to lead a group of people, what you have to do in order for that to happen and not disen you know have disenfranchised areas and people who feel underrepresented who feel who are underprivileged and, and that whatever that is and whatever that looks like because everyone can feel marginalized in certain ways but the truth shall set us free and the truth shall set you free the truth shall set you free and also um active socialized empowerment tells you and teaches you how to speak up, um, how to not suppress your voice, uh, but how to speak up and how to be heard and count it in that number. <laughs> so God bless you. I want you to have a great day.
I love you. I love you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Have a great day. You take great care. Amen.